Hello and welcome back to Pico TV. Today we have an interesting build from the new laser cut range of products, the LK205 GWR Moncton Coombe Station Building Kit. Moncton Coombe Station was opened on the 9th of May 1910 and was the first station along the Camerton branch to Limpley Stoke, but it's best known as the location for the famous Ealing comedy, the Titfield Thunderbolt. The laser cut format allows us to provide some new and interesting products that would otherwise not be justifiable as plastic injection moulding kits due to the development costs involved. Now before we get started, it's time for the obligatory plug for the Pico Tools Kit Builders Toolset, the PT200. And we'd also recommend these glues. Plus, we would recommend to get that authentic two-tone colour scheme correct for the GWR era, use these Phoenix Precision paints. The GWR Building Stone number 1, Light Stone, for the walls, and the GWR Building Stone number 3, Dark Stone, for the external frames. So, let's look at the kit. As you can see, the instructions are in the packaging, and there are numbers clearly displaying the item orders which match up with the instructions. First, Jeff starts off by bringing together the internal walls and fixing them to the base. Now if you're going for the two-tone look, using the recommended GWR colours, we suggest painting the frames dark stone and the internal walls light stone. It's much easier to do them separately than after they've already been joined together. However, we would recommend allowing everything to dry thoroughly because wood is a natural product and expands when made wet, making it more difficult to fit together. So patience is recommended. When the paint has dried, Jeff adds the frames to the walls using the slots in the base. Next, he fits the eaves onto the front and the rear walls, adding the brick rows to the base of the building. He then attaches the chimney sides and cuts out and adds the glazing. He then paints the roof before attaching and he then installs the rear of the roof plus the roof ridge before adding the chimney crowns. He attaches the window sills and canopy brackets to the front of the building and then he adds the valancing. He fixes the vent sides to the underside of the roof and adds the vent windows. He fixes down the front of the roof to the building, making sure it is flat. Then he adds the drain pipes, places the chimney pots on top of the chimney stacks and installs the barge board without a notch. He then installs the barge board with the notch cut out on the toilet block end of the building. Then he places the vent pipe into the base and then into the notch on the barge board above. Then Jeff turns his attention to attaching the screen fences to the base of the building and fixes them into position and then fits the front of the canopy. He then paints the doors dark stone and adds the billboards as desired. Then he adds a final light grey wash to the roof to define the tile detail. And that's it, finished. A finely detailed building that's quite simple to put together but satisfying when completed. Our designers have spent a lot of time and attention ensuring that these can be assembled with ease and have a high level of detail, which has been designed with the modeler in mind. So. Until the next time, happy modeling.